Okay. How are we going? Hey guys, how's it going? Just give me a moment. I'm just making sure everything is going to be okay. In terms of quality. So the guy for the internet came around today and let's have a look. What's the quality look like? Oh, that's looking crisp. 1080p live stream looking crisp. So we're going to be playing Stainless Steel 6.4 today. Everything's looking real stable at my end. 1080p. Let's hope no crashes. Okay. Finally. I've literally been waiting years for this. Currently streaming at 20,000 kilobits per second. God damn. My internet just jumped and like upload speed went up by more than 10 times today. Trash game. Yeah, that's your opinion. There's not 1080. Mm, I was able to look at it from 1080. It says 1080p to me. Can I reliably stream at this rate, though? So I'm just having... It's fluctuating between 18,000 kilobits and 30,000. I set it to 20... Hang on. The thing is, it's going to take a little bit of tweaking to get it perfect. But yeah, it seems like it's... It's not able to like keep a reliable. Well, we'll just we'll see how we go. So, this is the Byzantine Empire as of twelve twenty A.D. Not, not very good. Not, not very strong. All right. So we've got Turks coming down over here, and we need to get back Constantinople, because we've got the Latin rebels there. Latin Empire. Oh, I'm hemorrhaging cash too, so... Ugh, they've even got roads? Can't have that. I'd say we get our forces from Kanakao. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Is this game even 1080p? Yeah, it is. It's 1440p. Yes, your majesty. The armies over here are very strong. It might be better for me to actually go after Venice instead. Yes. Yeah, look, it might not be perfect, because uh, it might take me a stream or two to get the 1080p to be just right. But we'll see how we go. Do you think there will ever be a Medieval 3, or is the hype so high that if they made one, it wouldn't live up to what we expect? Don't know. 
and only pure speculation at this point. Scopia is not too too well defended. Right, I might send a little bit of a scout to just go and have a just go and have a little look. I haven't actually played played as the Byzantine Empire in this time before. Okay. I know we definitely need to move on there quickly. Ah, oh, shit. Because we do not have a lot of money. Wow, this is actually a really tough start position. They've gone downhill so much. And you got the Turks right at our border here. Yeah, we we are not making good coin. So what I yeah, what I definitely want to do is get some forces together, capture Rhodes and probably Crete, defend Nicaea. Obviously, that shouldn't be uh, this probably wouldn't be a good capital. Uh, maybe I'll go after hey, I'll go after Ragusa, but I got to get some troops together first. I think I could manage. Check dealer stream is lagging really bad. Is it? Let me have a look. I'll, I'll have to talk with the staff about that. Um, maybe, maybe D Live people, if you want to come over, let me just check on restream, see if I can do anything to throttle it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I can do about D Live. So you got better internet now because you can stream 1080. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got better internet. It got connected today. Like I said, March 1st. Today's March 1st. Better internet. The, we finally got national broadband. We've been waiting for this for literally years. And, um... Like, right, right before um, live streaming, I was able to upload a 3 gigabyte file to YouTube in literally 20 minutes. It's like, I've never experienced this kind of internet speed before for uploading. It's like... It's, uh... It's pretty good. I'm sure someone from Romania will be like, I can do 500 megabits per second, but whatever. Yeah, we'll get that down. We got to, we got to increase our income, but we we need to get settlements back. I think we should take on the Venetians first. You know what? I might even send these guys. I'll send yes. one ship down here to yes, just come and quickly take a little scout. And see if Crete is well defended. Yeah, no, it's not. So maybe that's what I'll do with these guys first, rather than. Oh, but then again, that would be pretty useful. But that would be easier to take. Well, I'll think about it. Um, okay, let's let's see. What else could I build? Of Holy Lance at a two dollar super chat. Hey Ledge, uh, good to see you playing SS. Awesome mod. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Support. It's the twenty eighth of February. You would have to be seventeen hours ahead in order for it to be March first. I doubt Australia's that far. Uh, no, it's uh, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen hours ahead. Okay, so they've come over here. We need to get away from this. I just sent this guy to scout, so all I do is get into the battle and then just withdraw. It doesn't matter, it's a pointless defeat. And then we'll get back over here. 
Can Venetians declare a crusade? And you like Fourth Crusade? Fourth Crusade's already happened. This is twelve twenty A.D. Fourth Crusade, twelve oh four. Today's defeat is nothing. We fought like true. There is nothing to salvage here. A scatter. Flee. Yeah. Not going there. Oh, hang on, hang on. No. So financially speaking, yeah, we are we're gonna lose money if we don't fucking move it now. Your orders? Your majesty. Orders. Yes. Yes, my get this force. Yes. Move on. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go broke for a turn or two. There's nothing we can do about that, but that's okay. We're gonna fight back against Venice, though. They're sending a force over here. Whatever, I'll, I'll try to be back in time before before they get here. But the force I've got here should be sufficient to capture Rhodes. Yes. I want you to attach yourself over here. Combining the fleets. Yes, my lord. Yes. Yes. Okay, we see that the Venetian army is actually heading up this way. Maybe what I'll do is I'll capture Rhodes with this army and then capture Crete. These guys here need to move on to Ragusa. So I'm going to take majority of these troops. Your orders. Put them on the boat. Land here. Yes, my lord. Leading the men ashore. We we'll continue tomorrow, my lord. Yes. Orders. March. Bringing our troops together. Your orders. Full sail. Okay, so we got two generals here, and we may be up against the odds a little bit, but as long as I plotting course now, my lord. Keep my head on my shoulders. I should be okay. To handle that. Defenses over here are meh. It's costing us a lot. How does it feel to be in HD? Well, don't forget, it doesn't bother me at all. Like, I just hope it gets more viewers, that's all. Because, like, I'm, I play the game in 1440p. My experience hasn't changed at all. This is just for you guys. If, if you get a better experience out of this now, seeing higher quality video, better frame rate, then, yes. great. You know, plays, the game plays exactly the same for me. Alright, uh... Alright, I've done everything I can. Next turn we'll be, yeah, we'll be broke. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Just gonna need troops. We gotta, we gotta expand massively. Moving on. This is too, too small. We're too small to be the successors of the Romans. This isn't acceptable. This is not good, Lord. The enemy have laid siege upon. Would you play 1212 AD mod for Attila if there was a gun to your head? You, um. I mean, I guess, yeah. I, I don't play it because I wasn't invited to to play it, and I don't nah, I don't don't really care. It is yeah 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 it's okay. We don't have to worry about the Mongol invasion. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Your orders. Is it not obvious I am your fall, infidel? Okay, if they were to attack there, I think we have, uh, you know, it's somewhat of a chance of victory. Yes. 
Somewhat. I mean, we will have towers. If they capture it, I'll just take it straight back. Right now, I'm far more concerned with, with this. Now, we need to do a draw. They've got three units in there and four units there. So that's seven units. I've got eight units. Let's just probe them a little bit and see how much bounce of power this is going to yield. As my lord wills, we march to battle. Okay, that'd be easy enough to defeat. Okay, we just maybe just bring in the general and maybe one additional unit. Okay, odds are in our favor. We have fewer units, but we've got better troops. Alright, let's do this. Where's the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's here somewhere. Uh, also guys, did you get a chance to check out my latest top 5 video? YouTube fucked up with the uh, with the notifications and sent out the fucking name, uh, file name instead of the title name again. God damn, that was so annoying. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Alright, so I'm gonna get my general over here to take out their... Take out their missile units, primarily. First. And then we'll see about those other units. Oh, that charge was pathetic. Okay, that charge wasn't amazing either, but that's that's okay. So then I recommended that wind of death was so satisfying. I know, right? It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Praise to our Lord! Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Okay, there's only a handful of them left. Take out the archers first, and then the other ones shouldn't be too difficult. The is it Athanate or Athanatoi? Whatever it is, the cataphracts here should easily be able to deal with those other units. We're gonna try not to take too many casualties because I'll struggle to replace them. Now, as for the other army over here, I forgot if they had a missile unit in there or not. Let me just double check. Yeah, they do, Venetian archers. To praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. But as a Thanate, okay. <laughs> I don't care how it's pronounced, to be honest. So yeah, we want to try and get these guys here to thin out the enemy general's bodyguard. Yeah, not yet, not yet.
Or the mailed knights, just just freaking kill something. So get around their back and hopefully they don't notice us. Or don't care that they're behind that we're behind them. That's more important. Not really fussed if we shoot the general's bodyguard or the bailed knights, they all need to go. Shit. Touch them. Got too close there. Now we have already killed the enemy general, so these guys here, their morale shouldn't be too... Too good. Actually took out quite a lot of those mailed knights. Okay, a few of them dead, nothing major. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. God damn it, their charge was so much better than mine. Or at least they didn't really think to cycle charge that much. Oh, they're not ready. They're not bracing. And we didn't charge. Oh, hang on. You yeah, kind of did. Is in our favor. If we remain true and that was a good charge. Good, good, good. Victory will be ours. Only half the enemy force remains. Really need that general to die. Oh, he's gone exhausted. Okay, this guy here will be gone soon. There's not much left of him, but he's he's too tired to really do anything now. Play online battle live stream? No. No, I'm not gonna do that. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, good, they broke. Now, this guy here just needs to go down. So we can take Rhodes back. Why not? Because I don't want to. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, 
But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have good, sent good. the idiot to hell. Alright, all's left now are these, uh, these feudal foot knights. Cool. They shouldn't be that difficult to deal with. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, praise the Almighty. Our enemy has lost his right. stomach to fight. We Both armies should have been wiped out, which means we'll get into Rhodes. So that's good. That's that's one this decent settlement reclaimed for, for Rome. No. Gotta execute them. Otherwise, we have to do a siege, and them apart, my lord. it's just not worth it. Victory. Name thy enemy, lord. My lord, should we spare any of them? Your orders? We will not surrender these waters easily. Empshi, my master despises you. Okay. I think we'll just leave that unit behind yes. there. Yes. First, your will. Order. Public order is not great, but we did just occupy it as opposed to sacking it, so it's not that bad. And oh yeah, we are hemorrhaging cash. Need to get back over here to lift this siege. Closing to engage, my lord. Our fleet is victorious. All ashore. Yes. Your will. Yes. Your might. Yala, my sultan wishes you dead. Let's firstly just see what we're up against here. Okay, that's that's not so bad. That's not bad. So I just sent him Orders. by himself. Splitting our forces. Yes. Crossing for battle. Yeah, I think I can manage this. We just need to take out the those two both two of melee. Take out the Turkish archers first. And then these guys here should be able to clear them out. Even though Yeah, 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 we should be fine. The troops are assembled. Prepare for battle. Is this late campaign? Yes, that's the twelve twenty AD campaign. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Are you going to use the one unit siege cheese? Is that the one where you besiege a settlement and when they come out you just save the game and then load and then they walk out of the settlement? I'm not going to do that. Honestly, that, that, kind of that kind of cheese is even beyond me. Will you stream some more EU4, possibly as Native Americans? No plans for EU4 anytime soon. Um, I don't feel like I do good live streams of EU4, so I would just... I'd, I stick to Total War. I, I understand Total War pretty damn well. EU4, not so much. Okay, that's a good start. I don't think they even got a single shot off there. And we got a really decent charge by the look of that. And even so, just being in melee with them, that's not what these guys are good at dealing with. As in the Turkish archers. You should put Stainless Steel 6.4 in the title. People will keep asking about it. Um, honestly, I think that putting Stainless Steel 6.4 or SS 6.4 in the title won't draw any extra people to the, to the thing. I think people, th I think people think that more people want to watch Stainless Steel than they actually do. I don't actually think we're going to draw a huge crowd today. And quite frankly, if they don't, if they don't show up, then that's their own problem. I'm, I'm fine with, you know, 400 viewers. It's fine. Shame because Stanley Steel is really good. 
It is. Uh, but as I've said many, many times, people do tend to draw the crowds towards vanilla more so than mods. It's just that m people who enjoy mods are the most outspoken in the community, not necessarily the majority, from what I've experienced. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Glorious heaven above, our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well, give the dog some wine, and be sure he can see us defeat the But Apex Legend and title for EC1000? Yeah, no, that's not how it works, and that wouldn't work. People do not want to watch me play Apex Legend. Okay, there's thousands of people playing that. People watch me play Total War. Many may be confused with the Attila mod 1212 from the title. Fine, whatever. There we go. Okay, if you re refresh the stream now, it'll say... Hang on, it hasn't saved yet. It'll say SS 6.4. Look at the D-Life chat. Alright, I got gotcha. you. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the heads up. Alright. Charging into the dismounted Sapahi Lances is probably not a good idea, but the Azabs, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Fucking steamed him. Steamrolled him. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory. Like I said, I wasn't concerned. Now, part of me is thinking that I might actually get try to get a ransom out of these guys, because I do need money, and they were an absolute pushover. But then the Turks are going to come at us pretty hard and fast, so I don't know. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. They should be breaking pretty soon. If we remain true and wholehearted, the there enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. The enemy are overcome. This is it. How long will I be streaming for today? I don't know. Don't know. We'll see. Probably not six hours. ERE Attila, when you play? Yesterday. I literally played it yesterday. <laughs> oh well. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. If you play stainless steel early era, does it provide late era units? If you progress the game? Yeah. Yeah, it still provides late era game units. Alright, so Smoon has been saved. We're still losing a thousand per turn. The income that we're making for roads is not great. But we did have to stop by here to, to sort that out. I got no, no money. Alright, so if we were to fight and win here... Uh, what are we up against? Can we possibly do a night attack? It doesn't look like it. I mean, I got two... Uh, they don't have one general, but they've got that. 
I mean, that doesn't look particularly dangerous. I gotta get to Ragusa. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. Odds are a little bit against us. We're outnumbered by more than 500 men. But... One, two, okay, th this force here is not particularly strong. The skirmisher should be fine to come around here and try to snipe the the general. Alright, this should be fine, because they don't have any missile units. Have I tried the historical accuracy improvement submod for SS 6.4? I haven't, no. So, to begin with, we're going to send three, these three units of cavalry to take out the f entirety of, at least the, the missile units on the first army. I'm going to send you over here, you'll go around. And you guys here. Don't want you to be hidden, because I want them to come at us. But I want them to take a while to get here. Okay, so we focus on taking out the, the missile units here. The problem here is that it's hard to micromanage two groups of, of cavalry. This is a higher priority right now, I think. Get rid of their missile units, because they've got missile superiority. That's broken. It is unwise to praise the day Oh wow, well, they sunset, broke really easy. Our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Go around the back. These guys here seem pretty fast. We'll sort that out. You guys gotta get back there. You shouldn't be in the fight for too long. So far, this seems to be going pretty well. Looks like this guy's gonna make a. They're just going for a bull rush charge at us, it seems. Don't know. Kills-wise, we're doing well. Yeah, try to take out this mounted sergeant here, because he's the general. And he's not going to do much damage to cataphracts. Yeah. 
it is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Don't be fighting these spearmen. Alright, let's get around the back. I don't, I don't really care if it kills the enemy general's bodyguard or the feudal knights, as long as it's killing cavalry. Put these guys back up here. Good. These these javelins ripped the shreds out of uh, feudal knights, but the problem is, I just don't have enough ammo. Yeah, charge into their rear there. That looks good. Oh, some mounted sergeant. Yeah, take them out. Good, so that should win us this battle. Uh, we still gotta deal with this general's bodyguard though. Yeah, they just, they couldn't resist that charge. We are blessed! The enemy general is dead! We have sent the idiot to hell! So that would have been the captain, right? Yeah. Fuck me. Uh, this guy here died. Oh well. Easy come, easy go. We get, at least, at least the main general didn't die. Since this guy died anyway, I might as well send him into combat. I was almost certain he was not in any real danger. Oh well. If we kill this general, then I guess it's a, a fair trade-off. Well, I'll still come out on top because I killed their army. Our enemy has lost the stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Oh no you don't. You're not getting away.
Fuck, I thought I told you to get away from him. General is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. Good. That means breaking these guys will now be pretty easy. Cool, cool, cool. That should be more or less the the whole army wiped out. Uh, their forces. So it should be pretty easy for us to get to Ragusa now. Blooded. They have lost half their men. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless. Of course, there'll be no ransom here for Venice. After what they did. That 1080p 60 FPS, bro. Congrats on the new internet. Thanks, dude. Does it look a lot better? Should be looking a lot better. Yeah. By the Lord above. Very good. Preparing an army. Both of those forces should have been wiped out. Yep. You looking cute without the beard? All right, thanks, dude. Looks mint. That's good. D live ain't working. Yeah, I know it can't handle 1080p. I don't know what to do about that. It's just not handling 1080p. I, I just don't know what to do. Okay. Now we need to push on to Ragusa. It's a fortress there. And I don't think they'll be able to do anything about it. So financially speaking, we are still losing money every turn. Now, this. What I'm thinking is because they're sending reinforcements, it might be a good idea for me to sally out here. Just utilize the general's bodyguard to try to take out their... Oh, actually, I might be able to lift it entirely. Problem is their horse archers. That's the, the, the Turkoman cavalry. Mm. I'll see what I can do about this. The troops are assembled. Get Constantinople next. Well, here's the thing about about that. The army at Constantinople is not going anywhere. It's not it's not controlled by a real faction. Whereas Venice is a real faction that will recruit new units and things like that. So attacking them early is more important than attacking Constantinople early. Even even though Constantinople is very important, the garrison there is huge, and you know we got to take that into consideration. Alright, we're gonna see how we go with just this first. Main thing I want to be doing, taking out their archers. Unfortunately, I have to climb up the hill to get at them. how well this is going to go down. Yeah, see, it's not the spear militia that I want to kill. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Gotta be careful not to get our generals killed as well. 
But if we can get into combo with these, with these, yeah, the. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of these Tokemon Cave. Excellent. Should just be able to rip right through them. They're they're not going to put up much of a fight. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Cool. That that wiped out the whole bloody lot of them. Nice. I do. Oh, I got that spear militia there broke. Yeah, you want to run them down, and this one here as well. Oh, no, no, that was not that one. Uh, actually, I may have made a mistake with that charge there. The, there's, they got heavier cavalry coming in. It's okay, we got out of there relatively easily. He's looking he's looking okay. He's not damaged. The main thing here is just not to lose the generals themselves. We don't need to win this battle. We're just thinning them out a little bit. I mean if we do win, great, but we don't have to. Oh, man, that was a solid charge. Okay, I need to get these two other two cavalry out here now. Shit, shit, shit. I don't want this guy here to die. Get him out. Like, they've done an amazing job. They killed up a third of the force. We can withdraw in good order if we absolutely have to. It's kind of safe there. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, where are my cavalry? I bet you come out here as well. The thing is, they've got another army, even if we do wipe this one out here. Why they keep putting their Turkomans into melee? Works for me. Am I glad to have some total water cheer up this bad, 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 bad day at work? Alright, no worries. Glad it, glad it helps. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Mm. These Latin Connor faring so well. 
against the general's bodyguard there. Badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Yeah, it looks like we'll conclude this battle. Get a sword charge in on this Turkish archer blob here. Battles won. Unfortunately, these Latin con got fucked up, but oh well, had to defend ourselves, and sacrifices need to be made. Jeez, the detail on these guys are really good. Okay, it's just a clean-up job now. The enemy, the enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. All of Christendom will. Hiding our forces from enemy eyes, my lord. I don't think they'll pay the ransom, but I'll try anyway. Oh, they'll pay. Cool. That ransom got me out of debt. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support there. Thanks for the donation. Uh, how are we going on DLive there? 27 viewers. Yeah, unfortunately DLive just can't handle the 1080p stream it seems. I'll have to talk. I feel like the trips that I have in there is sufficient for the time being. A building here to help maintain public order might be better, so building a small orthodox chapel. Orders? Yes, my lord. So next stop for them will be will be Crete. Command me. Yeah. Alright, so we'll end up with a little bit of money next turn to work with. Okay, moving on. Dear Legend, the Byzantines represent the easiest faction to play with 66... Six, oh, fuck me, SS 6.4. This is the late campaign. It's actually supposed to be one of the hardest campaigns. Apart from like the Khwarezmians. This, this isn't the early campaign, this is the late campaign. This is where they don't even have Constantinople. Alright boys, back on the boat. Get rid of this fuck here. Attacking on your command. Victory! Plotting course now, my lord. Yes, my lord. Leading the men ashore. Your will. Yes, my lord. Alright, doesn't look like anything's gonna stop us from capturing this town. Is it time to take the walls, my lord? Who 
Who do I face? We march on our victims. So they got footmen at arms and spearmen sergeants. It says it's more, a little bit evenly matched, slightly in our favor. Should should manage it though. Yeah, this is 1220. It's set after the the Fourth Crusade. So after the loss of Constantinople. So technically you're the Empire of Nicaea. Actually, we'll go the other way around. We'll leave you here. Problem here is that I've only got... They've got two units of infantry and I've only got two units of artillery. Uh, not artillery. Um, okay, they're not making use of it anyway. You should try to play late campaigns with Big Grim's realism. No, I don't think I'll ever play Big Grim's realism today. I, I honestly find it so unenjoyable. I've, play, I've played with Big Grim realism a bunch of times. I don't think I have ever enjoyed it. It's just an, such an unenjoyable sub mod. It sucks all the fun out of SS 6.4 for the sake of just making it challenging. It does some of the worst things to make it Thank you, challenging. I just I I won't ever play that sub mod again. Anyway, I already did the Quaresmian campaign with um, late campaign with the uh, Big Grim Realism Four. You know, I'm not gonna do it again. avoid them for the time being. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Come on, don't let them get back in up to here. Unwise to the if we lost the general, that would be a disaster, so let's not do that. But at the same time, they they don't want to stick around here. Sure, I didn't mean to bring them in. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men Shit, are yeah, winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Yeah, quick, 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 get in there, but quickly before they close the gate. No, we can break these guys off at least. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Go back and get the ramp. At least they're going into the town square, so we've we've certainly won the battle now. Wow, this funny. Th Do you know what's weird? It's really fucking weird. Like we're at peak time right now. We've only got 500 viewers. This is actually shaping up to be one of the lowest turnouts of uh, live streams I've ever done, despite streaming at peak time with 1080p, with the Byzantine SS 6.4 campaign. I don't understand. 
Oh well, I just, yeah. I, I don't know if it's the mod or the time. I just don't know. It's only 10.36 here on the east side of America. No. Sorry, peak time for Europe is what I aim for, not America. You Americans think the world revolves around you, but it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, it's Europe that I'm aiming for. Right now is peak time for Europe. Maybe just an anomaly. Maybe. Maybe. That she doesn't like America. Look, I don't not like America. It's just... I, I, I honestly don't aim for the American audience with these live streams. Central Europe just got off work another hour or so. Okay. Alright, if you say so, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just curious, because I've been live streaming now for an hour, and it's... Like, 500 usually is a, is a pretty low number for me, but it's, it's fine. Maybe people are watching the top five video. Our men well, it's only 20 minutes long, so. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Let you notice me, please. Alright, Justin, I noticed you. You enjoyed the top five video? That's good, I'm glad you did. Did you guys think I did a good job on that time top five video? I actually put a shitload of, of like research into that as well. I think it's because of the game. Everyone saw this campaign a lot of times already. I bet you you could be right about that. That you could be right. Thing is though, Byzant the Byzantine stuff. That's what got me all the views in the first place. But I guess it's possible people are like, oh, another Byzantine campaign. Yeah. Maybe I need to give the Byzantines a rest for a while. But what else can pull pull numbers like the Byzantines? It, so if not the Byzantines, then who? It was honestly your favorite top five? Okay. Will I be streaming Rome 2 sometime soon? You know what? I've actually been thinking about streaming Rome 2. But let me ask you something. Let me ask you a question. Are you okay with me streaming Rome 2? But throughout the course of a six hour live stream? Without fighting a single battle manually once? Are you okay with that? Because the way I play Rome 2 is I can't stand the battles. I just can't stand them. I just auto-resolve them because I just can't stand the battles anymore. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to... We need you that. Oh, yeah. no. But the problem is, that's how I play many uh, Rome 2 these, these days. Just order resolve all the battles. I just... I just don't see the point in fighting any of the battles manually these days. I have to agree with what you said earlier about that sub mod. I've never cared for mods that sacrifice fun and enjoyment for realism. Usually just to make things necessarily harder. I agree. I agree. And that's, you know, and the thing is, it's only, it's a one-way street. It's not like the AI has those same restrictions. And those restrictions are utterly ridiculous as well. If you do it that way, I'll bookmark the date in my calendar because I love that way more strategic part. Oh, okay. Getting more the changes AI unit recruitment would would help with Rome 2 burnout. Nah, I honestly Rome 2 for me is just I'm just done with it. It's just not a good Total War game for me anymore. There's no there's no mod that can fix the disaster that is Rome 2. Like even in DEI, I still just prefer to order resolve all the battles. And I understand, people don't want to watch that, which is why I stopped making content for Rome 2. You know, it's just, you know, just, yep. I just lost interest in the game. Alright, so now we're making some decent coin. Um, we should probably push on and just finish Venice off entirely. 
They'd probably be down to their last settlement after that. You could be playing the battles where the odds are against you at least. Yeah, but in Rome 2, that hardly ever happens, and if, if it does happen, it's usually just like, um, it's usually a full stack up against a garrison, at which point, there's just no point fighting the battle manually anyway, it's like, you won't do anything. Oh, look, my four row REI and two mob are up against elite troops. Oh, look, I got two kills in the battle. It's like, why waste your time on it? There's, it's just not tactically viable to fight those battles manually. You could stream the Romano-British disaster. Uh... Maybe. Third Age stream? Yeah, I maybe. I don't know. I just I don't really want to play Third Age. Oh, I've got a merchant. Whoa, look at that money. Yes, moving. Opening trade lane. What's my graphics card and CPU? I can't remember. It's good. That's all I'll say about it. Alright, so we got a little bit of cash. We should focus on recruitment, because we've got to get our territories back. Just whatever we can get, just get it. Yes, my lord. Want us gone? Then do prepare to board and engage. Our fleet is victorious. Yes. It's pretty funny you can cross through there. Alright, what else can we build? Alright, we got a little bit of religious unrest here, so building a small Orthodox church might help. Although we do need more cash, so we've got to build farmland as well. It's usually what my go-to thing at the start. Good for population growth and for just a little bit of base income. It's good that we've taken Ragusa, but the problem here now is that this guy's going to come down and... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Or at least we're making some cash each turn. And once we've taken Heraklion, that's, that's, you know, a little bit of extra cash as well. Don't forget Trebizond. Oh yeah, I, I did actually forget about Trebizond. How about that? Alright, with those, with that extra general there, I've got a reasonable sized force, I think, that I can push forward and maybe, maybe grab one of the settlements over here this way. Take, take the fight back to the Turks. Now I know some people will be like, why not take Constantinople? Turks are more of a threat. These guys aren't going to invade us. Yes, Lord. We can march no further today. Sometimes it's more important to deal with a threat as opposed to dealing with a rebel settlement. Probably ought to resolve that. Yeah. Generals, bodyguards on their own do not fight well in order to resolve. The, is ours. the enemy are beaten. Admiring the enemy, eh? Would you say Attila TT is a good game? What's Attila TT? Do you mean Attila Total War? Um, I'd say it's a good game, but not a good Total War game. I have to wait for reinforcements. Yes. I think there's a settlement over here. Maybe I can grab that.
And the corruption there is negligible. Cool, so we've taken Iracleon, and it's mostly Catholic, so we'll have to spend some time fixing that up. Now, all of these settlements out here have such massive amounts of rebels, it's just not really worth dealing with. With them, but these are really good cities, though. So, what are you gonna do? I do need to get back there, but I'll have to r really pull my forces together to to get it. But like I said, we've got to deal with Venice. So what I'm thinking about doing here is grabbing this force, just leaving behind, just leave behind one unit here, stall the taxes, and send these guys to come and assist. So that we can make a push and just eliminate Venice. It's not like Venice isn't a valuable city. Because otherwise they're never going to leave us alone. Uh, what next for Warhammer 2 campaigns? That game is the only thing that pulls views records. But that's not true. Um, it's not. It's actually... Medieval 2 is what pulls, my, uh, pulls the view records. Not Warhammer 2. Uh, but... Uh, I don't know what to do with Warhammer 2 right now. Um, I probably, I do, would, I'm actually thinking about doing a Lizardman and a Skaven campaign, but I want to wait to the next DLC. The next DLC is probably not going to show up for at least a month, so that's on hiatus until then. I don't know what else to play in the meantime. Um, I'll think about it. I'll increase the taxes here a little bit. Name thy enemy, Lord. How about I get yes. copyright claimed for the Medieval 1 music in this? It's so annoying I got uh, copyright claimed. False copyright claimed. And by the way, they haven't lifted that claim yet. So that was... That was annoying. Without a trace. They said it would take a couple of days. It's been a couple of weeks. Still no... Copyright claim lift. So... Unfortunate, but that's just the way things are on YouTube at the moment. Moving on. We'll be playing Bannerlord. I think everyone's going to play Bannerlord. Let's be let's be honest. Oh yeah, I forgot about Trebizond again. Truth be told, it might actually not be that valuable. I don't know. It's not good, my lord. The enemy have laid siege upon us. My machine is loud. Shouldn't be any background noise. Let me have a look. listen. Hmm. I don't know. It's not really that loud. Copyright trolls always wait until the last possible day before YouTube gets back to them. No, no, no. They YouTube actually sided with them. YouTube actually sided with them. If I appeal it again, I get a copyright strike. It's just, it's just not worth it. I can't. I, it's not worth me fighting it. A copyright strike is is so bad. It's just not worth fighting for it. Like I'm in the right. I'm in the right, but YouTube didn't side with me. Move out. March. All right, we got an opportunity here for a draw out. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. So I got two generals to take out here. I'll do the best I can. Men, bring out people honor. No, no, I don't have a copyright strike. Okay. Uh, when I did Medieval One Total War, the live stream from a few weeks back. Okay. Uh, that video got copyright claimed by a third party. And what that means is the difference between a copyright claim and a copyright strike. Now, a copyright strike means that somebody says this is my content and I, I want this taken down, and they take down the video. A copyright claim is where they say, hey, this has got my intellectual property on this. You can keep it up, but I'll take all the revenue. They did the latter. They took all my revenue from that video. Now, I got in touch with those people, and they said they'd take, it, take the copyright claim down, but they didn't. So... Like I said, that's that was disappointing. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements.
Hey, Warrior of Athens, how's it going? Oh, fuck me. Also, I finished my uh, mod review for, uh, th uh, what's it called? Um, beginning of the end times. It might be the last one I do. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it was lucky with beginning of the end times. I've already played like shitloads of hours on it, so I didn't need to put in 20 hours of gameplay to, to review it. I've already put that out time in. So, and it's also good because I already love the mod. And it's always good to have a positive review. I don't think negative reviews are what people want to see, want to hear, but I guess I guess we'll just see. You should write an autobiography of my life with Total War. My career has only just started. An autobiography now would be pointless. I've only just started, really. I've been on the scene for six years. I'm just a baby on the scene. I'm gonna I'm gonna be here for a decade to come. I have no plans on going anywhere. There's no no point to write an autobiography. Anyway, it'd be pretty short then. Anyway. Once you start a few CK2 streams, it has hella mods for future streams. Yeah, I don't, mods, I don't think mods pull views. I really don't think they do. Well, this is good. You gotta be like those vloggers who are in their early 20s but are already writing their autobiographies. Yeah, well that's that's pretty narcissistic. If you think you've got any real life exp uh, experience in your early 20s. Or even in the late 20s. Please, life, life hasn't even begun for you yet. Our men have slain the Saracen general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. In the world's eyes, you're still a little baby. Start writing your auto. Start writing your biographies when you turn 50. Not when you turn 23 or whatever. Only half the enemy whatever. Remains. You know. People can do whatever they want, I suppose. Maybe it's a good training exercise. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Yeah, it was slaughtering them because we were shooting him in the back. That obviously makes a big difference. Alright, now I've got a general there, and there's a Sapahi Lancers. I think those are... If I had to guess, I'd say that's Ottoman infantry. And some spears. Okay. I think these live streams is quite the content. Keep up the good work. Okay, I'm glad you're enjoying them. All right, I'm gonna go in with the with the cavalry. Save the infantry for the settlement assaults. I was right, on a mid infantry. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. All right. 
dismount. Um, this dismount Sapahi lances are a bit of a problem, but apart from that. Our men have slain the Saracen. Oh, nice. Now we must nice early. these men running back to the desert. Only half the enemy force remains. Are they trying to get out of there? So okay if he's trying to retreat, just make sure you kill a few of them. Because I reckon we'll still get 85% even if... Even if most of them get away. Yeah, we should be fine. There was more than 400 of them here, so we'll, we'll just capture all of them. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. You all good? This yeah, we won. I mean, we walked him out. Of course we won. All right, cool. We've just taken Ankara. The enemy are beaten. Orders? Yes. That's good. That's a that's a good blow to the Turkish forces. The enemy are beaten. Now, the force that they've got here. Or face the might of Islam. I mean, we really could have bolstered our forces, so hopefully they I guess we'll see. Let me just see. If I look at this. The Sultan will be most pleased. Yeah, we have to wait for them to actually make the attack. Yes, your will. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Oh, look, here comes an enemy merchant. Level 1 to our level... A 95% chance, actually, this is a good way to make some money. Cool. That doesn't happen very often. I shall take the foreigner's business. Yes, there's money in this, my lord. Opening trade lane. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Who do I face? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna take some reinforcements over to those guys. Sure, my lord. Let me strike, my lord. Stopping for the night. Yes. Full sail, my lord. Yes, my lord. We will not surrender. Alright, where do we get it, Ragusa? Alright. Cancel that. Build something cheaper. So that's 1,500. Fine, that's cheaper. Because we want to get more troops to make a big push towards Venice itself. Yes. Plotting court, name thy enemy, Lord. So next stop for us should be Iconium, but we might have to defeat a few units along the way. 
God's servant. Yes, Lord. Continuing, my Lord. Traveling with God. I well, that looks good. No so, so far, we've captured one, two, three regions. No, four, if you include roads. Um, cool. Gone from six to ten. Moving on. Alright, so the odds are evenly matched, but we're at number two to one. Our guys will actually fight reasonably well on the wall. Alright, I'll do I'll just do the best I can. I'm not not sure how well I'm not sure if we'll win. But we just all, all we can do is just do the best we can. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Alright, we need a plan. Our guys aren't gonna break, most likely. Uh they've got Turkish archers on that siege tower and hmm. ideally we'd probably want them all to come up through the ladder so I'm gonna need the general to go out there and stuff them around a lot so you gotta get them off the ram and the and the siege tower there's a lot of Saracen militia as well and they're actually pretty decent okay we got him off the ram ah sorry off the uh, off the off the siege tower get out of my face They bloody outrun my cavalry. Our enemy's ladders have reached our I gotta walls. double back around it. Oh, they, they got back on the siege tower. And get him off the ram. Okay, so these Skutter Toy Swordsmen should be ripping through their, their guys there. Should be, in the keyword there. Good, they seem to be preparing to go up the ladder. That's what we want. And their cavalry are hanging back, also what we want to see. Good, so far, 30% of them dead for 6% of our troops. That's, that's, that's a good start. Let's get a solid charge in on their rear here if we can. I don't really want to go near those fairy cavalry because even though we can beat them in melee, I don't want to go near those bodyguard.
Yeah, they didn't really make a charge there. That's what I needed them to do. We see more or less have this under control. Yeah, I've crowded this area up here. Because this, this way we don't even have to take out their cavalry. All we have to do is beat their infantry and we can win the battle. It's probably the easiest way to go about it. Charge just doesn't work. <laughs> Only half the enemy force remains. All right, we're, we're probably not going to do anything more with the cavalry. It seems like the infantry can handle the rest of this. No, no what the fuck are you doing? Silly buggers. The course of this battle changes because defeat seems almost certain. Uh, Matthew Hoffer became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the membership there. Thanks for the support. Yeah, that's some good kills that we're getting there. Really good kills. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Okay, if all their infantry leave the battlefield, then... The battle's over for them. There we go. The enemy well, there we go. We've managed to save Trebizond. For now. Renem and Karato and Kira, the Greek name? Nah. You've only played Rome 2 and Attila, looking to buy another. I'd recommend Medieval 2, probably the best Medi uh, best Total War game. Either that or Warhammer. Depends if you like fantasy Total War games or not. I don't mind them. Alright, so can we retrain... Well, we can't replace this unit, but I can replace th that one. That one should have free upkeep. Get two of those. How many free upkeep units do we get? Three. Jeez, is that all the money all spent already? Oh well. Yeah, Venice is blockading quite a few ports. Yes, my lord. Closing to engage, my lord. Our fleet is victorious. Who do I face? Your orders? Let me strike, my lord. Boarding now, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. Okay, just leave behind the spearmen. Yes. Mm. I'm gonna have to leave behind a little bit more than that. Yes. Your Majesty. Order. Move out. Yes, my lord. Yes. March. Yes. Order. My lord. All right, there we go. At least it's under control. And we want to take them. Yes. Yes, my lord. To Venice. Orders. Hold us all now. Name thy enemy. Yes, my. But you always got to make sure that you spend the turn off the water. Off the water. 
So yeah, you can just stay there for the turn. That's still a decent sized army. Unless there's a full stack there, we should be able to take it. I mean, it's only turn 7. Plus we've crushed loads of their forces already. This shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, let's take Iconium. Every city that we can remove from them. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to maintain Orders? public order. Let me just see. Yes. Oh no, we can manage. Yes. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet. The only, the only problem here is that this guy might come down and attack us, but if he does, I'm confident I can repel him. Uh, what about him? He can't. Oh, he might be able to reach us. Well, I could always just withdraw back to Ankara. Alright, uh, that's us done. Let's move on. Look at that, they actually sallied out. Um, yeah, I think I can win this. I think I can win. Men, bring our people honor, glory, and most of all. How did you lose your capital? I didn't. You start off in this campaign like that. It starts off that way. This is the 1220 campaign. I didn't lose it. It uh, started off. I just haven't reclaimed it yet. Yeah, they did a night battle, that's why. They did a night battle for some reason. Yeah, much would prefer it if you shot the bodyguard there. Looks like they want to meet up with their reinforcements before they make their attack. It's fine by me, it gives me a chance to thin them out. Oh shit! They came from the other side. Hey, it's not a big deal. Um, why are they going around?
Looks like they've run here. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Right, yeah, we want to take out those guys there. They lost half their men. What's this? There's another body gut. What's going on here? Try and shoot that bodyguard if you can. Uh, yeah, you guys just get rid of brace. Here we go. It, thin him out. Good, that's working out really well. We've we've definitely got this. Okay, well that's that's that one there down. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. I think these are all just spear militia here. So once we've killed the enemy general, those will be easy to deal with. King is slain. A worthy enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must press our advantage. Yeah, see now they're they're just gonna break. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Gotta make sure we run these ones down to just end the battle, because we want to execute them afterwards. This was a great opportunity to wipe out their force here. The battle. Run down those worthless peasants! Yeah, I know it is it is very dark, but I can see. All of Christendom will be all good dead to the last man we have one year we're doing 1080p on this game is this game even 1080p this is 1440p on my screen yeah it's 1080p why don't you want your units end the turn on the water oh right because if an enemy ship comes and sinks all my fleet then my army's gone I think that's pretty obvious. This place is yours, my lord. So far, we've hammered the Turks and hammered the Venetians. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, it's okay to put your guys on the ships if you feel like they're going to survive the day, uh, the turn. But I don't know what's what's out this way. Yes, my lord. Ah, uh, they've got Ancona as well. I forgot about that. Plotting course now, my lord. But Venice is not well defended. Plotting course now, my lord. Orders. Yes. Turkish chief, come face me. If I bring too much. Okay, hang on. They'll they'll withdraw from that fight. And if we can draw them out, that would be ideal. So just come back here just for a moment. Full sails. And we'll just land a couple of guys here that we don't want to fight in this battle. Units that are not necessarily good fighters. Yes. But will provide a lot of balance of power. All the spearmen. March. Yes. Yes, my lord. March. Yes, my lord. Then we grab what's left. Yes. Moving and they stand and fight. So, Pavi's crossbow militia. That shouldn't be a problem for all of our heavy cavalry. All right. So we need to do a rush attack on the first army, and then the second army should be able to be dealt with with the missile units and and whatnot. So just get the archers to stand back for the time being. Same with you. We'll use you on the enemy reinforcements. Big mad rush on the first force. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Now you two come around over here. Need to get around this flank. You guys come around over here, actually. That'll buy us more time. That's it. Hit them before they get a chance to charge. Alright, so these are very fast cavalry here. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. So far, seems like it's going pretty well. This guy's having a bit of a hard time pulling out. Praise to our lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. The enemy are badly blooded. Good, they're falling to pieces over here. Now, over here. Just wait, don't fire yet, don't fire yet, just hang up. Not yet. Come on, that's gotta break him, surely.
praise the right, Almighty. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Ooh, that's a nice amount of thinning out right there. Somebody call Logan Paul because we just performed the thinning over here. <laughs> oh, that's so lame. Alright, that's all I needed from them. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Alright, that's that's that done. Now Okay, we could easily we could easily charge in on that, but we do have archers. We should try to utilize them a little bit, but obviously if they charge into them, we, we don't have any spears here. So I guess we'll see. Stream is unwatchable on D Live. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know why that's happening. Um, because I've I've improved my internet. I can stream at 1080p. So, yeah, I, I have I can't adjust anything uh, specifically for D Live. If you can give me some tips on. What I can do to fix it, I'm all ears, but I, I don't know how to fix it. Been waiting literally years to be able to stream 1080p, and then the moment, the day that I do D Live, can't seem to handle it. So I don't know. Where's the beard? Obviously I shaved it off. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, that's one of them down. Where'd the other one go? The enemy king is slain. Oh, we got both of them. Okay. Were the enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must press our advantage. Quick, get into their range and just waste their ammo. Waste their ammo with our flesh. Only half the enemy force remains. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. The enemy are overcome. This is a great victory. Worthy Any chance of streaming Rome today? Do you mean Rome Total War? No, no. One, one game, one campaign per stream. We don't, we don't mix it up. It gets, makes people confused. They come on and be like, "This is the Dominion to the Empire." So, yeah, but don't. One day, one stream, one campaign. And Venice is a mine. Okay, so that's their final settlement. So it would be good to finish them off. That's for sure. We walked out of that pretty much damage free. Uh, Timothy Bruce Mal says, uh, You're a very good tech battle tactician. Way, way better than me. I hope to see you take on the Horde. I would have already taken Antioch and Armenia, but the Horde is my weakness. Okay. Sure thing. 
Imagine, kind of off topic, but how does Hellebron's Death Knight mechanic work? I haven't played Hellebron, so I don't know. And also, the ships, the ship allies you get from it are just going to attack with one or what? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Okay. Right, we'll have to stay here. Just a couple of turns, I think. At least it's a wealthy settlement, so getting some more. Yeah. Guess I get a merchant, why not? Although he'll probably just get killed really easily. Oh well. Easy come, easy go. But we scored a lot of money by capturing Venice, so that's awesome. We can get some reinforcements from here. Guess I can send the ship back. The fleet yes. back to go pick up some reinforcements yes. so they can finish off Venice once and for all. The legend, you have to know everything about Total War. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know everything. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. Where's my other oh, is? Alright. So looking at things now, we're making decent coin. Things are things are definitely looking up. Spending just a turn or two, just to building up our settlements, might be a good idea. Oh, excuse me. Alright, cool. Moving on. Still had some money left over, too. Yeah, so... Viewers' numbers are still pretty... Not particularly good. So... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a 1080p live stream. And we haven't hit above... Haven't hit above 600 um, viewers. You can't yawn on screen. I'm offended by your exercising. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, hmm. I mean, we had more views than this yesterday playing Total War Attila. So, I don't know what it is. You noticing a bit of delay? Let me have a look. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. If you play stainless steel earlier, oh, it's not near the right spot. Viewers, you can't yawn on screen. I'm offended by your ex. No, it's it's synced. It's synced. It's because Attila is the best game to ever exist. I don't know. Didn't get a notification today. Hmm. If you play Thrones, you won't even be able to count the views. Yeah, it'll be zero. Legend, you said 1st of March is still 20th of February. Not for me, it's not. 20th of March for me. Sorry, sorry. Tw uh, 1st of March for me. That's today. To board and engage. Victory! 
All right, there's a Venetian force about to arrive here. But since we've got a fortress, even if they do combine these these forces, they they probably won't win. To protect Venice, what we could do is you build a fort here, right? And it just gives you just a bit of extra time to get organized. And then we just put a unit in there that's already pretty damaged and not really worth a whole lot. Like this one here. Oh, actually, no, 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 this one. It's pretty, pretty badly damaged. YouTube notifications. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They're, like, it's part of the, how the algorithm works. It's it's insanely brutal, the algorithm. It really is. Um, it really it doesn't favor Total War content creators, unfortunately. It makes it very difficult for notifications to get out. So, but from my understanding, the way the notifi the, the way the algorithm works is that if I if I release a video and it doesn't do very well, okay, in terms of the algorithm, YouTube punishes you like a fucking dog, and they're like, "That's it, we're gonna cut your notifications in half, basically." So let's just say I release a, a video that just doesn't really pull views, you know, right? And then I decide on that same day to go and do a live stream. Well, YouTube's like, "Well." Only half of his viewers were interested in that previous video, so we're only going to notify those viewers who clicked on that video. And then, even if they're subscribed with all notifications on, that's why people be like, oh, I wasn't notified about this. It's very brutal. It's just the way things are on YouTube right now. Everything's very brutal. You can't rely on YouTube giving you notifications. I live stream very consistently. I'm pretty much here every single day. Don't wait for the notifications. Like, it takes five seconds to check. It's up to you. I mean, if you don't want to show up, that's entirely up to you. But don't rely on the notifications. I don't. I don't rely on subscription notifications. The people, the people whose content I want to watch every day, I put into Google you know, the names of them, and I go and watch the video. I don't wait for the notifications because I don't rely, they're just not reliable. So you can turn alerts on, but YouTube can, YouTube can turn it off. Yeah. Does it, it doesn't matter if you've got like, it doesn't matter if you're subscribed with all notifications on, it doesn't matter. If you miss one notification, YouTube, YouTube can um, just decide not to send you any more. Basically, the way the way the algorithm works is it tries to be intuitive, and in a in a way, it's it's so intuitive it's actually fucking aggravating, okay? Because because of the way competition works, it basically they don't give a fuck who you're subscribed to. It doesn't matter who you're subscribed to with notifications on. They look at what your history is, okay? They look at basically what you've been watching lately. And if you're watching a lot of my content, then you'll be fed more of my content. But if you've been watching a lot of other things and you just forget about my content for a week, YouTube won't push the content. Even if you're subscribed with notifications on, it'll stop pushing it. So in some ways it's good. It's a good way for, for, for me to get my content out to new people, but retaining people, it can be very difficult. Are we, are we, st how many viewers do I have? It says 558, but it hasn't moved in ages. Let me just refresh this. Huh. Actually logged me out of YouTube. Luckily, I don't need to be signed into stream. Come on, log me back in.
right, it says 592. It's according to this we've had. We did actually reach 657. Yeah, it just wasn't letting me know. Yeah, YouTube's broken today, guys. <laughs> like, did you see what happened earlier? Sometimes, sometimes, like, I love what they're doing with YouTube. I think they're doing a great job in, in some areas. But today, YouTube was just, it just had a bad day. So, what, what, earlier today, I released a top five video, right? And I had all the tags and everything set up. And I was like, okay, cool. I got my thumbnail there. I've got my title all sorted out. And then I'm like, okay, publish. And I hit publish. And then it was like, error. <laughs> everything fucking crashed. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, every, like the whole browser fucking crashed as soon as I hit publish, right? And then I'm like, okay, well, I'll get back into it and just check. And then I came back and my file, my video had published with all of my titles, tags, description, everything wiped out. Okay, but it had sent out the file name. Bandicam2019-0301 or whatever. And, you know, just it didn't even save the title. And I was just like, oh my god, all notifications are going to be sent to people as, hey, check out my new video, Bandicam. I was like, oh god. And the thing is, the results actually actually show. Like, if I show you, like, that's a top five video. And I think it's a pretty good top video, uh, top five video. Let me show you what, what the results are. Let's have a look. Is it going to pop up? It's, it's starting to catch up, but if we have a look here at my latest top five, uh, you can see there it says views are down 35%. Yeah, views are down 35% because you fucking notified everyone that the video was called Bandicam, when in fact it wasn't called that. You know, these things happen. These things happen. You can't do anything about it. That top five was pretty good. Shake that happen. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a good top, top five video. I think, I think if it had not, if it hadn't done that, it would have gotten two to three times as many views. I think a lot of people didn't click on it because it was bugged. That vampire spell was retarded as buggery. Uh, yeah, but like you can do that in every battle. That's not even like that's not an uncommon occurrence. I would routinely get uh, Manfred with a thousand kills every battle. So you definitely made some mistakes here for my support. All right, thanks, dude. Oh, hang on, I read it in the wrong order. Just want to say I quite like CA. I think they are more pro-consumer than people give them credit for. However, their blacklisting you was the shittiest thing that they have done. They so definitely have made some mistakes here for my support. Okay, thanks of Holy Lance. I appreciate that. Look, um, look. To be honest, they had every right to blacklist me, and I, I said this yesterday. Um, it it hurt to get blacklisted. But at the same time, they had every right to blacklist me. I was at a point with them where the relationship was just breaking down. It was, it was just, it was, it wasn't like just one thing. It was a lot of things just totally breaking down. I was getting left out of so many things. Communication with me was just horrible. It, it was clear to me that they just weren't interested in me as a content creator. And so I was at my, I was at my, uh, the edge of my wits. And I did something I really shouldn't have. And that's what sealed my fate. Now, things have actually gotten a lot better for me with the blacklist. So I actually not trying to fight it. I, I just actually embrace it because in many ways it was a good thing for me. By not relying on my bad relationship with Creative Assembly, it actually allowed me to focus on, on more important things, and so I was actually able to grow as a channel, whereas before... I would say that my relationship with Creative Assembly was actually holding me back, and now that I don't... Now that I've been liberated from that, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Do I regret it? Uh, it, it yes and no. Like, I, I, I say to myself, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done what I did, but at the same time, Everything worked out well for me in the end. So it's like, I did the wrong thing. CA, CA did a lot of wrong things, right? They did a, they, Their list of things that they'd done to piss me off was getting pretty damn large. Um, and I was, I, was, I was really fed up with them. And... 
like I said, bad things happened, but good came out of it. For me, at least. So, I don't... I only regret it on the point of that I shouldn't have done it, but the end results were were good for me. You know what I mean? Early access is overrated anyway. It is overrated. I'm not even interested in early access. I mean, they've, they've basically made early access pointless by making Let's Plays of their own before any of the other content creators can. You know, their, their live streams that they're doing, they're, every time they live stream Three Kingdoms, they are stripping value from early access from other content creators, which is entirely their right to do it. It's entirely their right to do it, but the other content creators sh um, shouldn't be so excited to get early access. You know, if they're view focused, you know, if it's just about, oh, look, I just like getting it, you know, three weeks early so that I can, I've got that advantage, you know, I get to play it three weeks early. Well, that's great. That's good for them. Uh, new member, welcome, Thomas Michael. Uh, thanks for the um, uh, thanks for the membership, dude. Here's the thing, though. If I was whitelisted on their on their early access program, do you know what would be the funny thing? They would be probably giving out early access to people about the time that that um, uh, Imperator Rome comes out. And I tell you this right now, I if I had a choice between playing Imperator Rome at release or Three Kingdoms early access. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be playing Imperator Rome. Like, Three Kingdoms is, like, is I'm only obligated to do it. I don't actually want to play it. I don't think it looks good. You know? Uh, don't you think by by self-early stream CA is avoiding dealing with YouTubers? Uh, maybe. Look, look, look. I'm just saying it from the YouTuber perspective. Like, in, as far as Creative Assembly's perspective is is concerned them doing the, the the live streams themselves is probably good for them it's probably driving sales right uh because that that way they're able to showcase exactly what they want to see and they've got employees who are not going to badmouth the game you know you ca you will not have a ba an employee go on and be like oh man that fucking sucks you know oh look at this bug in the stupid game dude that will not happen they'll get fired for it um so by 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 bypassing YouTubers, at least in the first wave, they can they can get the easy pre-orders. You know, the pre the pre-orders from people who are probably going to buy the game anyway. They just wanted to get a look at the game, so they can get all them nice and early. And then the second wave is when the the, the sorry the first wave for the YouTubers, but it's actually sort of second wave of content being released. That's all the people who rely on their on their specific content creators to make their decisions. You know, people who. Who trust the you know the YouTuber or whatever, and they want to know their opinion before they purchase it. So they get those in second, and then the third wave is the the people who purchase it, uh, who play it upon release, and then you know give a review based on that. How is the law video performing so far? Very badly, very badly, unfortunately. It's I don't think it's the video's fault. It's um it was YouTube's fault. <laughs> they sent they sent out the notification as as the file name, not the uh, title name. And like even my wife said to me, like, cause like she actually got the notification. Like I was sitting here and I was like, fuck, fuck, trying to fix it. And she came to me and goes, what the fuck is this? And she's like, shows me on her like her iPad the 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 uh, the notification. It just said, a uh, new video from Legend of Total War, Bandicam, 2019. And I'm just like, fucking bastards. You know, and because I just I knew it had sh it shot me in the foot. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's let's play. I've been sitting here talking, yammering on for ages. Um, I really want to finish off Venice, but I'm gonna do that. It's just a castle. It shouldn't be that hard to take. With a catapult, it might help. Yes, my lord. Yes, right. my lord. Can't bring reinforcements from there now. How's my day? 
Uh, my day was pretty shit, actually. It's no one's fault except for YouTube. You know, you, you get days like this. You know, I I I'd put in a, I put I probably put the vicinity of about four hours into making that video just in production. I put a lot of hours into that video, and it's performing like ass purely on a technical glitch, and it's it just it just pisses me off. Like if it was if it was a regular Let's Play campaign that did that, it's like, ugh, no big deal. Those don't perform well anyway. But this was this was supposed to be a big video. Hey guys, yeah, I'm okay. Not not great to be honest. Pissed off. A little bit pissed off. D Live died. Um. Yeah, I'll have to fix. I'll have to fix up the problem on D Live another day. Um, I can't fix it up today. Hmm. I don't have a large enough army to deal with. Ooh. See, if I besiege this, the rebel army will come and attack me. Just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. All right, we got. We can't let this go on. Just tuned in, what's Legend pissed off about? Uh, YouTube notification. YouTube is just a bit buggy today. Like, things just aren't working on YouTube. And it's, uh, making my job very difficult. Yeah, look, it keeps logging me out of YouTube. What the fuck? Come on. Stop logging me out. Fucking hell. I used to go months without having to log back in. Keeps logging me out. Yeah, like I said, YouTube's having a very buggy day today. You know, and you know, I'm not pissed off at YouTube. Uh, I'm sure that they're doing their best to fix it. It's just annoying that today was the day I had to release that video, you know? And it's probably shot it in the foot. But, you know, maybe it'll pick up over time, so I don't know. Ugh, I think the chat's bloody frozen now. Fuck me. I can't read your chat if the fucking thing doesn't refresh. Come on, stop logging me out. Alright, cool, cool, cool. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Tuesday or Wednesday night for you. I streamed longer than than you, and I think that's an achievement worth. Today's Friday morning for me. I, I don't know what you mean. What happened to the CK2 Byzantine Empire campaign? This is why, dude. This is why you got to watch the um, the channel update videos. Um, as I stated in in that, uh, let's plays are uh, sorry pre-recorded let's play campaigns are no longer being shown on the channel. So the Byzantine campaign, I am not going to finish it, recording it. I d the remainder of those episodes are going to be released on my secondary channel. So if you're subscribed to the secondary channel, you'll find the episode 13 there, and I'll have um, the other episodes out soon. Um, but if you, yeah, I mean, it's the same video, it's just a different channel. But yeah, they, they, because I understand how the, the YouTube algorithm works, it's very, very brutal. Uh, unfortunately, episode, episode campaigns are very, very damaging to your channel. What I, that's what I've discovered. That's why my channel's blown up so much lately, because I figured that out and stopped doing it. And uh, that's why things have improved so much for me. Now we got wrecked on that. We lost a lot of men.
It's alright, it's safe. Somewhat. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Yeah, I gotta I gotta withdraw back inside. This didn't go very well. Like we lost we lost a lot of generals, bodyguard men on this. St st what the fuck are you doing? Get These are really strong units, but sometimes they could just derp out something severe. I've got to get back inside. Call this one a, a draw. That just, that just didn't go well there. Sometimes it happens with this unit. unwise to praise the day before sunset but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory get back inside before you get killed it's good that we took out so many of the fairy cavalry though I just I don't want to be fighting that Saracen militia obviously Unwise to praise the day before I don't think they'll attack us over the end turn, and I'll sally out next turn and forging a worthy victory. Actually, I want to see if I can finish the job. Most of their, their horse archers are gone. I don't know. Okay, we won't, won't be able to end the draw out until this gate shuts. There is no victory here today. Yeah. Like I said, YouTube's just had a bit of a bit of a buggy day. These things happen. Um, it's frustrating, but you know, going on Twitter and, and like like having a rant at YouTube is not going to help anyone. I'm, I'm sure they're on top of it. YouTube's been very good to me lately, so having one bad day is like, eh, you know, count your blessings and try to avoid the curses. It's not that big of a deal. All right, let's see what else we got. So our income's pretty damn decent. We could afford an army large enough. We just need to wait for the manpower to actually arrive to, to take back Constantinople. What else shall we build? Stream looks and feels great. Um, that's good. I'm glad you like it. it it's a shame we're not really pulling very many viewers. Considering it's a 1080p stream, streaming at 26,000 uh, bits per se kilobits per second, which is <laughs> nearly 10 times higher than I usually stream, but something something's going off today, so it's okay. Maybe another day will go better. Subscribe to your second channel. Cool, cool. Quality viewers, no quantity. Yeah, unfortunately, I need quantity. Sorry, need quantity. That's just how it works. Well, you know, not necessarily. Actually, how can you say quality as well? How many super chests has there been? One of Holy Lance, two dollars. Quality, my ass. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I got so much last week that it's fine. All right. 
I'll say hold the ground here. Of Holy Lance today, five dollar super chat. It wasn't your fault. CA miscommunicated and then blamed you for it. Again, I really like CA, particularly Warhammer, the for what they did was the shitty. The uh, yeah. Look, I'm not. I'm not going to argue with that, obviously. But at the same time, um, what I did was shitty as well. So. You know, I'm not blameless in this, and I'm not. I'm not going to sit there and be and like and pretend like you're right it's all ca's fault i'm completely innocent in all this it's just not the case chris Kerwin did a 10 dollar super chat uh take some quality legend thanks dude appreciate it you didn't have to but appreciate it how did i lose constantinople no no i didn't lose constantinople you start the campaign without it this is the 20 sorry the 1220 ad campaign you don't start off with constantinople I just haven't prioritized taking it back because you also start off at war with Venice and and um, um, the Turks, so I've been prioritizing them. To arms, General! The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Vince, nineteen eighty-seven, did a ten pl and super chat. Here is something to lighten the day, bud. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Forward! Forward! The enemy general Oof. flees like the coward he is. That went really well. That the, spirit of his army. the boiling oil killed so many of them. But well, that's the way it goes sometimes. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. This is a clear. What medieval two DLC campaign should you play? Uh, I'd probably start with Crusades campaign. I think that one's the the most polished. No, don't. <laughs> to the walls! We are besieged. Tree Turner campaign is most polished, but well, whatever, whatever. I don't want to make, I don't want to argue one point or another. Orders. Yes, your majesty. Cool. Apollo is also streaming with far few viewers than usual, so it's on YouTube. Uh, let me have a look. I mean, I believe you, but let me have a look. Yeah, there was definitely something up with YouTube today. Oh my, it logged me out again! Seriously, how many times are you going to log me out, YouTube? 
Okay, fucking hell. Alright, so we're looking at. Let's have a look. How many, how many viewers has he got at the moment? Oh, uh, yeah, but he's doing a head to head campaign with Jackie Fish. That's naturally not going to pull views. 263 people watching. Yeah. So, I mean, if you. Yeah, well, whatever, that's fine. How many hats do I own? I don't. I don't wear hats. I don't like wearing hats. Okay, let's see. If we just leave behind this guy here, good public order maintained. Then we might actually be able to finish off the the Venetians now. We have a larger army than them, but I'm not. When shall we attack the wars, I'm not convinced, then, actually. I'll just keep them under siege. If they want to sally out against us, that would actually be ideal. But yeah, an assault there, I'm just not really convinced, considering we do have a lot of missile units. Uh, let, me let me have a look. What was that? You do believe sending a diamond? Okay, thanks for the thanks for the diamond there, dude. And the lemon. Um, the question is, is it worth it for him to stay on D-Live if 90% of his audience is on YouTube and he can't stream here? Y well, 90% of my audience is on YouTube because I've been on YouTube for six years. Um, I've only been on D-Live, like, this is my third month on D-Live, so you can't expect t me to get as many viewers on this as I'm as, um, doing on YouTube. That being said, I've been doing really well on, on D-Live, so... It, it, so far, it has been very much worth it to be on DLive, and I, it's a it's a platform that I really want to support, and I want to keep going with these dual live streams. It's it's been good for me, um, but you know sometimes you're gonna come up with technical issues. And here's another thing, guys: you don't just abandon ship the, at the first problem that you that you encounter. Okay, if that's your motto in life, oh my god, there's a technical issue, I'm just gonna stop. Y you've got very low endurance. I don't think this is going to go well, but I'm going to fight it. How good is cavalry in stainless steel? It's pretty good. It's very expensive, but it is very good. Skillum says, is DLive like I got banned from Twitch like Voet is to Reddit? I don't know what you mean by that. Sorry, I don't, I don't get the references. Uh, thanks for the super chat, Dylan. Uh, you did make some bad mistakes, but I just wanted to show some support. Sorry if I offended. No, no, well, how would you suspend me? Uh, suspend me. Ah, fuck me. Offend me. You didn't say anything offensive. I like... I... I... Um... Like, I get where you're coming from. Um, but at the same time, I don't think it was really that shitty of CA to, uh, to blacklist me. Like I said, in hindsight, I get it. It's fine. But I, I appreciate the support nonetheless. But I think at some point you got to be honest with with your viewers and with yourself and be like, you know what, I deserved it. You know. And I've had a lot of people, uh, you know, in support saying, you know, they don't think I should be blacklisted anymore, or that, you know, it should have been lifted by now, and all that kind of stuff. Like, here's here's what I have to say to that. Republic of Play is also blacklisted, and he hasn't done anything wrong since he was blacklisted, right? 
Okay, and what he did was far less damaging to them than what I did. If he's not going to be lifted from his blacklist, then there is no hope in hell that I'll be lifted from the blacklist. Okay, if anyone should be lifted first, it's got to be Darren from Republic of Play. Okay, so until he's black, uh, his blacklist has been lifted, I'm not even going to think about it. It's just a waste of my time. Because it won't happen. CA does not forgive. CA does not forget. That's fine. I don't have a problem with it. What did he do? Uh, he he is an ex-employee and had a bit of a rant about them. Who cares? Don't apologize. Fuck CA. Um, well, here's the thing. I never really ever apologized for what I did. Like, I admit I was in the wrong, but I never actually apologized. Maybe I should. I don't know. Ugh, I hate this weather. Sorry, guys. This, this battle's gonna look like shit. So they've decided not to defend this settlement. Oh, it's so annoying. This looks like crap. You are not live on Deer Life. Yeah, I know. It's bugged out. Don't worry about it. There's nothing I can do about it. It's bugged out today. They will unblacklist you if you pay by two, uh, 50 copies of Rome 2 to show you dedication. Blessed saints, our enemy's gates are down. What was your cooperation with CA? Okay, so I don't know. It was always a bit wishy washy, um, but I was part of a, wi a white listed uh, content creator, right? Or preferred content creator. Uh, at, uh, with CA and what that just meant was that I was on a list when a new DLC came out I would get access to it and uh, I used to rely on Darren when he worked at uh, CA to, to get those codes to me now when he left CA I then had to rely on someone else and that person was very unreliable with those I was always left out let me just put it that way I was always I was always, like, the only one left out as well. It felt like he had some sort of vendetta against me, and I didn't know what it was. And I tried to uh, talk to him a bunch of times about it, but every single time I just I just got nowhere. And it just broke down to the point where I just... I did something that I... I did something regrettable because I was so angry with him. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. Yeah, it, it is. It is dark. The the weather changed in in the battle. I hate it when it does this. It's one of the things I hate most about about stainless steel six point four is when it makes it this dark. But oh well, what can you do? Battle's going well. This is late period. We started in the twelve twenty start date. Fifty dollars is you can do this battle with less than fifteen percent casualties, what do you say? No, nah, it won't happen. I've already lost 5% and... I don't have enough missile units to cheese my way through it. Above. 
So yeah, I'm already at 10%. It's not gonna happen. Like, I'll win. But that's not gonna happen. Everything seems to be going pretty well so far. Once the enemy general's done, I can uh, dead. I can send the cavalry in to, to run down other units inside the settlement. Shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a problem. Then again, this might be the secondary general. Hard to tell. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, if I bring the archer up over here, bring these two archers up, and get them up on the walls and around the back of their army, around the back of their forces. unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. You gonna shoot or not? All right, cool, cool. The enemy are badly blooded. That's what we want to see. Lost half their men. We had some good shots on them there. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. All right, cool. Okay, so forty-one to sixty-four percent. We're winning, but not by an amazing margin. <laughs> 
It's just too slow. Can't catch him. Alright, what are we up to now? 70%? Alright, cool. I reckon the, my guys could beat him because they just keep breaking and coming back. Why waste ammunition? It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Yeah, might as well make them run because they're never going to recover their fatigue. Now, from what I can tell here, it's mostly cavalry remaining. Did you know there's a Space 4X that has all the same features of a Total War game called Sword of the Stars? Oh, really? No, I didn't know that. I mean, this is, we got all spearmen up against pretty much all cavalry. They should be able to handle this. Man, you bloody cowards. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. They come and stand over here. They can't be. They can't be attacked. It's a good way to get a couple of extra kills. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. I've lost, lost almost all my melee infantry, but this should eliminate Venice, which is going to relieve so much stress for me. Can always recover those troops later. The 10A looks really dark. It's the battle. It's, it's dark on my screen as well. Once we get out of this battle, it'll look a lot better. Hannah Montiero donated $5. I miss your glorious beard, senpai. Well, I'll grow back. I'm good, thanks, Michael Collins. What video series that you made is your favorite? I don't know. I, don't, I usually... I usually forget about it after I've already recorded it. And just move on. Don't hold a whole lot of attachment to any particular campaign. 
We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. My lord! Our men are in command of the castle! This is a clear victory! Awesome! T uh, nearly 2 to 1 kill ratio as well, and that eliminates Venice, I think. Unless they've got another hidden settlement somewhere. And the thing I miss on Twitch is the emotes. We've got the emotes here. Look. Got them. Just gotta become a member, and then you there you can use them. It's the same same emotes as Twitch, same files. Do I have a hat emote? No, that's not really relevant. They don't get to keep the the men anyway, so I was like, well, why not ransom them? Ever think of streaming Shogun Two? Mm. I really don't think Shogun Two pulls the crowds. There we go. Take that, you 1204 fucking pricks. <laughs> Revenge for 1204 has been delivered. Are we going to get 4K? What do you mean 4K? 4K quality? No. No, that would be ridiculous. For one thing, I, my monitor isn't even 4K. Would you play Shogun 2 for fun? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it. Any chance of running a Portuguese campaign? I I don't know. I don't think Portuguese, Portugal really pulls the views. The other videos that I've done with Portugal just didn't really get much interest from people. Alright. Let's do this. What if he's Byzantium? Why doesn't he have Istanbul? Oh my god. It's never gonna end, is it? Okay, so it, with this mod, it's on the late campaign. You start off at 1220 AD. Historically speaking, the Byzantine Empire lost Constantinople for about 50 years between uh, like 1204 and 1250 something, I think. Uh, when the Fourth Crusade sacked and occupied uh, Constantinople. So this is set right after that. I don't think X pulls the views. Yeah, what's that? Are you considering 1440p like your other videos or is that too much for the pipeline? Yeah, I don't think there's any point live streaming 1440p. I don't think it's worth uh, worth bothering with. I'll stick with, I'll, I'll stick with good quality 1080p. I feel like if I go 1440p, it might cause my course problem, so we'll stick with 1080p. We'll see how we go. Yeah, but why are you killing Venice without taking Constantinople first? Uh, because... Oh my god. It should be obvious. It really should be. Okay, Constantinople has a huge garrison sitting in it, okay? And it's rebel, okay? Constantinople as a city on its own is not that valuable. It's valuable, but it's not that valuable, okay? Venice is a th well, was a threat. Now that I've eliminated Venice, they cannot send any more armies against me. Okay, so sometimes eliminating a threat is more important than retaking your capital. It, it really should be obvious. The, the thing to do with the 1220 campaign is... Some people do go, I have to get Constantinople back straight away. You really don't. You don't need it. What happened to Attila to the War Eastern Romans? I don't know. I thought we'd try Stainless Steel 6.4 today. People were like, You'll pull more views if you play Stainless Steel 6.4. No. Not true. Not true. I don't know. Also, the Eastern Roman Empire campaign, it was, it was getting already a little bit boring. 
You're neglecting the emotional value of Constantinople. Sorry, but you can stick your emotional value up your emotional ass. Okay, I don't give a fuck about your emotional values. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. They get triggered. I'm not getting triggered. You guys are the ones getting triggered. I'm just telling you to quit it. Do you know, this is what happens, right? People repeat the same bloody thing over and over again, and then I call them out on their bullshit, and then, then they say to me, Hey, stop getting triggered. You guys are the ones that get triggered. Not me. Oh. Legend, you're hurting my emotions because you're not taking Constantinople. But Legend, don't get triggered. <laughs> the battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Gotta get to those Ottoman infantry. They're the ones that keep shredding me. Oh, I wish these guys weren't so fucking slow. Come on, dude. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted. Victory will be ours. Then again, they are very tanky. Oh, it's good that the generals brought it guy. That's that's their major mobility there. I think we'll live the siege this time. Getting there. Yeah, he, that general running away over there just gave me the perfect opportunity to just turn their infantry into mincemeat. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. That's all I needed. Uh, Frozen Men BG, Master of Strategy mod for Shogun 2 is the ultimate challenge as Tokugawa in the game. Had 50 turns with 3 regions in a row. Yeah, I don't really care, dude. I'm sorry. I just don't care. I'm not looking for the ultimate challenge. So, that doesn't that doesn't sell me at all. Especially not on Shogun 2. Like, if I'm going to play Shogun 2, I want to have fun. And I'm done with challenge campaigns. 
After doing the Blitz campaign, I'm just sort of done with challenge campaigns now. Can you play Sweden in Napoleon Darth mod? Uh, I probably won't. I don't really want to play Napoleon. Let alone Darth mod. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. This Scythicon here should be able to defeat... Get this off. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. And Why do you not like Darth Mod? Well, it's not really that I don't like Darth Mod. It's that I don't like... Um, I, I just don't really enjoy Napoleon Total War. So, I don't, I don't really enjoy mods for games that I don't enjoy. I don't find that it fixes any of the problems. And I played Empire Total War Darth mod, and I just, I just don't see what people see in it. What am I thinking of streaming in the near future? I don't know. I usually I usually think about what to stream right before I actually stream, so I don't I don't plan these things in advance. Legend, do you get tired of playing Total War every day? Yeah, I do actually. But it's my job, so you know it's worse jobs to have. I like Napoleon Battles campaign not so much. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't like gunpowder warfare, so it's just a personal preference thing. I just don't like I just don't like guns, and I'm not really interested in the whole Napoleon side of things. Just just don't care. My my interest in history pretty much ends around the year 1600. That's where I really start to switch off. What other RTS games do you like that aren't Total War? I don't I don't play RTS games. No. Uh. Nine times out of ten, mods that fix games that actually fix them, they just value change. Yeah, I know. Uh, do you enjoy the social aspect, getting fame and interacting with the audience more than actually playing Total War? I don't, I don't know. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'll be honest, like, most of the time, a lot of the questions, like, get on my nerves. That's just how it is. Um, I don't, I don't actually, I don't actually like it most of the time. Um, but I put up with it because you guys support me. And, I, look, I, I, I do like streaming. I do like streaming, but there's a lot of, a lot of time, it's, it is irritating at the same time. So, I don't know, you take the good with the bad. Uh, what was, what was that? Did I miss a donation? Is there anything that you like or brings you happiness? Mmm. I don't know. Hang on, I just, I think I missed a donation. Let me just check. Oh, hang on, there it is. I just missed it. It was from Hannah. Hannah Montiero donated five dollars. Got to go. See you in glorious bed later. All right. Thanks, Hannah. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the donation there. Is this really medieval two or medieval one? Because the current song is plays medieval one. It's medieval. It's this is stainless steel six point four. Um, it's a mod for medieval two. Uh, but it uses some of the medieval one music. Yeah, the thing is, if I go and take Constantinople, like, the, the, these rebels here are no threat to me. The Turks will not stop coming, right? So I've been dealing with them. It just makes sense to me to take out the Turks, which are a constant threat, as opposed to retake Constantinople, which is not a threat. 
Like we, what we've done over here by defeating Venice, we can now chill. And we've got all these settlements here that, that can make us money and troops that we can then use to fuel an expedition to take Constantinople. You don't start off with a large enough army to, Constantino to take Constantinople unless you send everything. It's not worth doing it. Well, over 600 viewers, nice. Mm, it's alright. When will I retake Constantinople? Well, I'm actually, I'm just, I'm recruiting some forces now to go and do it. It's just, you know, I gotta wait for the, the recruitment pools to increase. It just takes time. Sorry, Lage, which, which streaming was something more fun for you? Well, it is, look, it is. But at the same time, like, like I said, you take the good with the bad, okay? Sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's not. Um, sometimes people just get on my fucking nerves, okay? And it's not any, it's not anyone's fault, but sometimes you guys just ask really irritating questions over and over and over again. And it's not your fault, but I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend like when you ask questions again and again and again that it doesn't get on my nerves. I'm doing my best to try not to, not to act triggered, but I still don't like it. Like I said, you take the good with the bad. Nothing's perfect. Actually, you can bribe Constantinople for cheap sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like bribing. Bribing's not really my way. Puria Ria says, uh, it irritates me when I hear the same questions many times. Yeah, I know. But you good at hiding it? Mm, it takes practice. Inside, inside, my, my chest is like, is like a ringed up sponge. It's like, hold in the patience. You gotta hold it in. Just hold it in. Keep his patience under control. Alright, so... Uh, where do you get the thumbnail artwork for your video streams? Just go, I just Google it. Just Google it. I just try to make sure it's not like super copyrighted something. Or if it is... You know, it's, it's at least relevant. Like, for example, the, the thumbnail I used for the Romano British campaign was from the King Arthur movie. That, you know, Clive Owen. That's, that's copyrighted, right? But I feel like it's an appropriate joke where nobody's gonna care. Um, I feel like like taking thumbnails, just just grabbing a thumbnail off the internet, nobody really cares that much these days. As long as I'm not ripping it straight off of another YouTube video, I think it's fine. But if if like if YouTube came to me and said you gotta stop doing this stuff with the with the, or even like gave me a warning for using those thumbnails, I'd stop doing it. I, mean, I, just, I just do it because it's quick and easy. Uh, okay. Is Total War a god game like Populous and Black and White? No, not really. Unless you like, you think you're you're the god. You just you just run a country, more or less. All right, so we're making five grand a turn. That's okay. I'm gonna grab him. He's 54 years old, he's got good command. command me. Grab him and. Orders, my king. Yes. Orders. Most of the army. Yes. Except for this unit. And I'm gonna go back to Nicaea and we're gonna go for Constantinople. Come here, my lord. 
By the time he gets back, there should be enough troops here and here in order to justify this expedition. You're gonna need a ship. Orders. Yes. Move out. Onward. Uh, Cincinnatus of VA did a twenty dollar super chat. Get triggered through a chair. Uh, thank you for the super chat, dude. Very generous of you. $20. That's, that's heaps. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm not going to throw a chair. <laughs> no, I can, uh, you know, a little bit of self-control. A little bit of self-control. That's all you need. Alright, moving on. Blur the camera. Your handsome high-res face is distracting. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, um... I'll make it how it's actually supposed to look. All right. Because I'm from Australia. This is this is how we live in Australia. You see, in Australia, because we're upside down, you have to be very careful or else Well Very easily just hang from the roof here, you know. Oh, just hanging here from the roof. <laughs> People love it when I do this shit. Oh, uh, oh, whoops. Okay. Fucking Australia, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> How did you get on the roof? No, no, you don't understand. It's because... It's because uh, we live in Australia, right? So, the you know how... Gravity works... We're upside down, right? That's how it works. Like, you know where Australia is? You got the Northern Hemisphere at the top and then the Southern Hemisphere. And everyone on the Southern Hemisphere, we like, we hang off, off the roof. Everything is upside down here. No, my face doesn't become red because I'm used to it, you know? Just, you just get used to it. You know, I go to the Northern Hemisphere, uh, my face goes white because my don't don't need to push as much blood up there anymore. Not on the roof. I'm on the ceiling. Does the Australian army use huntsman spiders as cavalry? No, no, we use them as ammunition. We have guns that shoot huntsman spiders. Uh, we use we use um, kangaroos and emus. Actually, no, no, the emus refuse to be cavalry. They used to, but they, since since uh, the emus won the war, can't use them as cavalry anymore. <sighs> uh, just give me one sec, guys. Just need to check something. I actually um stopped by uh, Pixelator Polo's stream yesterday, I think it was, and it looked like he had almost beaten Jackie Fish. I'm surprised they're even doing another episode. They would have been finished with that by now. Hmm. Show us them sexy emu legs. Alright, just hang on one sec.
Just give me one moment. Mm, how am I going to do this? There we go. Oh, this is around the wrong way. There we go. Happy? <laughs> this is what it's like to be an emu. This is what this is what it looks like. <laughs> Dlab is dead. Um, yeah, look, d look, don't worry about Dlab today. We'll we'll sort it out for another day. Uh, since the of VA did a two dollar super chat, here's your stripper dollar, you poor beast. No worries, thank you, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Do they teach the emu war in schools since show? No, I didn't know about it until like recently. It's a national shame. They don't teach that shit. I suppose what we can do now is start working towards getting these guys over here to start taking back Greece. Constantinople needs to be first priority. Away with you, infidel, your All right, moving on. Bloody back again. This is what I'm talking about. They just... They can't leave well enough alone. Just fuck off, you bland damn Turk roach. Go away. Alright, this unit's pretty much dead. Just get rid of it. Yes. Orders. Bring in our troops together. Your majesty. Let me strike, my lord. All right, we're gonna have to take two trips. Yes, my lord. Name thy enemy, lord, your majesty. Orders. Move on. Who do I face? Yes. Lord in a One, two, three, four, five, six. You desire battle. Yeah. No? Okay. Your orders. Full sail. Command me. Majesty. Oh shit, can't land there. Approaching, my lord. Yes. Yes. Just reinforcements in case I need it. Plotting course now, my lord. Your majesty. Onward. Name thy enemy, lord. Who do I face? 
march on our victims. Waste no time as sparing enemies this day, man. I feel like the joke on this one is over. Okay, I don't have a lot of cavalry, so there's that. Got a lot of javelin men, which are not the best units. But we do have reserves. That's something that they don't have. Alright, uh, reinforcements from Constantinople are coming from over here. I'm going to try and intercept them first. Let's take back Constantinople. <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. Oh, that's typical. That's great. Face the wrong way. It doesn't matter. That was probably wasn't, wasn't going to do anything anyway. Yeah, light men at arms, yeah, they can fight them. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Alright, just ignore them now. Get over here, attack them. Cool, that works. Mm, actually, I'm gonna bring you over here to try to take take those uh, feudal knights off. Come on, move it, dipshit. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. So, so far, so good. I'm gonna try to get around the back here, to take out those archers with the cavalry, because they just weren't doing anything against their infantry. God 
Damn it. Just to be a little bit more responsive. Come on, you slowpoke. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. God damn, they got wrecked. Luckily, I don't care about them that much. <sighs> Fuck, my general got really badly charged there. But he's okay. Get him out! God damn it, he's fucking stuck in there! Oh, good, he got out. He got out. Come on, get out. Unfortunately, they've got cavalry superiority in this battle, which makes things a little bit difficult for me. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, only half the enemy force remains. Just a little bit. We're not doing too badly. It's time to stop targeting my general with their cavalry, because I can't move fast enough. Everything's going alright so far. It says victory is a distinct possibility, so we've probably won. I'll go around this side over here. Okay, in terms of cavalry, I've only really got my general left. I've got some reinforcements coming in from over here. It's not much, but better than nothing. Bring him in. Oh, he's getting wrecked there by the archers. Pretty tired now, but that's okay. <laughs> Wasn't probably protected. Doesn't matter. General flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Glorious heaven above, our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well, give the dog some wine, and be sure he can see us defeat army. Alright, well these guys pretty much fought to the death. 
But there's not that much of them left. Solid rear charge over here should break them. Oh, he, he doesn't matter. It's just the captain. They may lose heart and flee. Praise the Almighty. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Basically nothing left. I think it's just this unit here left. The there we enemy. go. The enemy are overcome. This is a great. We show little mercy. They deserve none. Command me. We shall send them to hell or worse. March! <laughs> Your march is Move on! And there we go, Constantinople recaptured. Cool. That was a bit of an effort, but we got it in the end. And it, it is a very rich settlement, like I said, I was always going to get it, get it, but I had to get rid of the damn Turks first. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense. We upload your ideas in Medieval 3 in the near future? M yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm, th I'm thinking about it. Make Constantinople your capital? Well, the problem is, is that it costs money to, to change the capital, and it's not a pragmatic approach at this point. So, maybe later. So next up we need to get Adrianople, which will just take time. I want to take this back as well, but it's also not that valuable. Hmm. Okay, we're having a trouble maintaining public order here. Some additional troops would help, I suppose. Actually, going back over here, what would I what would I build here? That's not crucial right now. It's making enough money. I got to build something here to keep maintaining public order. Um. Oh yeah, I hired a merchant. Give me a name. Sixty percent failed. What else is new? And yeah, hire a priest. And why not get another merchant? What does it matter? Building a public bath would help with. Yeah, with that, that'll be good. Alright, moving on. Making 10 grand a turn. Nice. Bear in mind, I think it's cheap to make capital, and you make lots of money because of less corruption. Yeah, but the capital is Nicaea right now. Do you, do you not understand how corruption works? It's based on distance to capital. You're literally moving the capital down the road. 
you, I wouldn't make my money back on that for a very long time, if at all. Am I going to keep playing this on, on another stream? Um, I don't know, like I'm not particularly encouraged to it at the moment. Like, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We will see they don't stand a chance time. there. They'll never take it. Oh, excuse me. Are you not enjoying it? Mm, it's alright, like... This this is a problem with Medieval 2. Every now and again, like, I love the game. But, every now and again, I just have played it too much. And I think that when you've played a game so much, it's very difficult to sit there and go beyond the point of challenge. And, like, we started off with six regions. I've, I've conquered eight regions. I think I only lost one battle, right? And the battle that I lost was really just a scouting operation out here. And I didn't lose anything on that battle. So, I've literally lost no battles lost no regions and I've just like steamrolled and this is supposed to be a fairly challenging time period for the Byzantines it's all right but like you know I'm not I'm not super thrilled but you have to defeat the horde I hate fighting the Mongols and Stanley Steel 6.4 they're, they're never gonna get here anyway I'm not gonna play that one anyway I think I've got something else in mind for tomorrow we'll, we'll see And, you know, a little bit sad that DLive stuff didn't work. Um, did Stone Crypto send me some info? Not yet. Okay, getting just a few extra units is all we need, I think, to... Every single one of these ex-Byzantine settlements have very large garrisons, so it, it does take a little work to get that back. Yes, my lord. Yeah, I'm only at war with the Turks. If we have a look at our faction rating, it's gone up pretty considerably. If we have a look at top five factions, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm not even in the top five. Mongols at number one. England's gone up by shitloads. Military ranking increased slightly. Production wise, I'm at top. Territorially, I'm slightly larger than the Holy Roman Empire. Financially, yeah, that's to be expected. Population, I'm fourth. Okay. I think we hit the Turks so hard that we don't really have to worry about them for a little while now. If I can get a few more troops together, I'll go and recapture this settlement. Capture it. Or maybe it would be better if I go and take Sinope. I think it might actually. There's not much going on there. I'll send a small like, expedition over there to go capture it. Bit of extra cash. Oh, it's, it's not that much actually. Yeah, build that because that'll increase our 
mm, only by a little bit. I'll get, I'll get the farming. When will he take back Constantinople? I don't know, dude. When should I take back Constantinople? When should I do it? What do you guys think? When should I take back Constantinople? When should I take it back? I don't know. I haven't planned it out yet at all. When should I take it back? What makes me like Toon King so much? I don't know. I really like uh, crafting my own items. Changing your channel's trajectory after already becoming YouTube famous is a terrible idea. People suffer Total War. Total War is what subs wants. If his channel was two weeks old, your idea would work. Sorry, what are you talking about? You know, you're not talking to me. You're talking to somebody else. Once a month, you should roast people who ask stupid questions. No, I feel like that's petty. Just leave them alone. It's all right. I mean, really, if, if someone <sighs> there's there's two types of stupid questions. There's deliberately stupid questions, people who are deliberately trying to get under my skin, and people who are not intentionally trying to do it. And it's very hard to tell the difference between them. And so, it it wouldn't be fair for me to upset people who didn't have bad intentions to begin with and so it's best to just, to just to not worry about it I think restore the territories of the Roman Empire all right okay guys I'm just gonna just real quick I just gotta do something real quick hang on <clears throat> just, just making some adjustments. Oh fuck! Where is it? Hang on, hang on. I just gotta do something real quick. I'm not gonna be long, hang on. Don't go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just I just I just have to tweak my settings real quick. Just have to tweak the settings. Nice top five video on Warhammer, by the way. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, all right, we're back. We're back, and uh, yeah, we're just uh, continuing the campaign at the moment. All right, so uh, let's see, what are we up to next? I believe we were invading Britain. I think was that right, guys? <laughs> I thought I had a save file where it was all done already, but I mustn't have bothered to save after. Quite a bit of gameplay. What's your corruption at? That's not very high. 2,000. 2,000 corruption. We've been cheated. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I quit out of the game and logged into an early, early game 
campaign where I had um, already done shitloads. Uh, I'm thinking I might end the stream here just because I'm actually quite a bit tired. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Uh, it was interrupted and shit and um, I'm just I'm just really tired. Um, I don't know what I'll, I'll definitely live stream tomorrow, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, how, how much do you? Uh, hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll figure out what we gotta do. Hang on. Did you get the text that kill your ability to make theaters? Yeah, very funny. That's total war killer. It feels like you're a bit saturated with mid two in the mods. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I have to think about what to do because the problem is I play. Maybe maybe I need a little bit of a break from total war and just play something else. Even for like just a couple of days. Because it's pretty much all I've been doing for a really long time, and I'm just, I'm buggered. Anyway, Legend was really good. Uh, I'm glad you like it. Alright, so, like I said, we're going to end the stream here. I'm going to try and fix up what happened with DLive, so that uh, tomorrow we can actually stream on it properly. Take some nap. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm going to get off now, because I am tired. And, um, thanks to everyone who supported the stream today, and uh, everyone who's just even just shown up. Uh, if you if you have got a moment, do check out my top five video because it didn't get sent out to notifications correctly. Um, it would help it, but whatever, it's up to you. Um, I'll have a new video out, which will be a mod review for beginning of the end times, probably within the next I don't know, uh, I don't know, a few hours, maybe after I have a nap. Anyway, I will catch you guys tomorrow. See you next time, fuckers.